So myself, Srinivas Reddy, working as a technical skill trainer in EAPSS DC for last four years or more. So I have good knowledge on Python programming and Flask and Django frameworks and machine learning also in front end technologies also. So today I am going to discuss about today our objective. This is a very important concept in Python. So in Python, in this loops, we will discuss class the objects. constructors and inheritance these concepts are discussed today so before going to discuss uh, today's agenda so I will give one task um, regarding in files. All are willing with, with me. Please respond. So in personal sir yesterday uh, he covered files concept right so in that files concept i want to give one task to you so please complete after that uh, i'm start today's objectives so uh, the task is So uh, all of you know how to create a file and how to write a file and how to read the file and how to delete the file, right? I think all of you know. So uh, for example, I'm taking this file. In this file, some data is there. For example, hello. Good evening to all. Welcome to Welcome to APSS DC Python class. Python class. Python programming offered by offered by APS DC. So uh, let's consider, uh, let's take this data. In this data, I want to find how many repeated words is there. For example. Hello. So here, hello is uh, repeated in two times. So next, good also one time. And two also two times is there. So I want the, um, I want to count the what frequency count. For example, uh, take this is as the input for example i want to output like this output for uh, take one dictionary 
so in this dictionary take first one so hala is repeated in in this file is two times the next good good word repeated in one time the next evening evening also repeated in one time so like the same next two two is repeated in entire file two times so like the same way i want to count the all words in a file is it clear Is it clear? <coughs> Please respond. For file and interface not only. So yesterday they cover uh, up to App append is uh, completed. Append is okay. And read. Read the data from file. It is completed. So read lines. Read lines also completed. So by using read lines, we can do this task. Okay. By using read lines command, uh, read line method, we can do this task. So uh, no, no need to write the data in by using file. So first, all of you know how to read the data from a file. All of you know or not? how to read the data from a file so by using um, read method we can read the data from a file yes so like the same way here uh, use read lens method so first uh, open that file first open this file next to read the first line and uh, line by line by using read lines method and next split the data after that uh, count the frequency so I, I will tell you i will tell processor also please complete So I will give uh, five minutes time to you. I think on these five minutes are enough for them uh, doing this task. Start. 
I remove primary stand, please complete. It is not updated in GitHub. So no problem, I will update it at the end of the day. Tomorrow you can access. Don't worry. Okay, time is up. So, how many have you completed? Please respond. So, please give me a reply. How many have you completed? You are tried or trying? Please let me know. Not completed training. Okay. 
caiu. So don't worry, I will tell you. So first, open the Jupyter notebook. I'm creating one folder. Click on new file, the today's date. Wait one, twenty twenty one. So in the same location, I take one file, one text file. So just so I rename it as data.txt. I am taking data.txt after that save that file. So next, I want to read the first. I want to read the data from a file. So what is the uh, method for read the data from a file? By using read method, we can read the data from a file. Different between not this boy. Okay. So now it is okay. I think now it is okay. Let's go to that. Now this in this file data.txt file is visible. With first I want to read the data from a file with open up. So in this open method which parameters we need to pass the uh, two parameters we need to pass the first one is file name so i am taking the file name is data.txt so next in, se uh, in second argument To open up the 
data dot txt this is the first argument we need to pass uh, file name the second one is we need to pass a mode so i want to read the data from a file which mode we need to use here r r is a read so next as file as file so next so first i want to uh, read the data from your file in lines first line i want to read so by using um, read lines method we can read the data line by line so here i am taking one variable next to file dot of reading the data uh, just you know, file it is a variable of reading the data data stored in file so this is another process don't worry about this this is another process with open so by using with open uh, method we cannot close the file no need to close the file so no uh, so i will tell you in telugu so normal which is end ante a open method use chese data vachesi must should go file and close cheyali close cheyipothe em avutundi data anedi save avadu and functionality is em good save avu okay so with open e method use chesi manam data ni gani file ni open ga chesthe so data ni a particular file ni close chesina cheyipoyina functionalities anni automatically save avuthi that is the reason why i am mm, taking this okay is it clear so normally open method use chest chest em avutundante data anedi uh, file anedi must should be close cheyali okay so normal ga with open of ఇలా యూస్ చేస్తే మనం ఫైల్ అనేది క్లోజ్ చేయకపోయినా సరే ఆటోమేటిక్ ఫంక్షన్ అనేది సేవ్ అవుతుంది దట్ ద రీజన్ ఓకే సో నెక్స్ట్ బై యూజింగ్ రీడ్ లైన్స్ మెథడ్ ఐమ్ రీడ్ ద డేటా ఓకే సో నెక్స్ట్ ఐ వాంట్ టు want to check the data data so in this data first uh, which data is here in first line data txt in first line uh, is hello good evening to all okay now i want to read the entire lines in a file for that i am taking for loop here okay so i am taking uh, one dictionary here for adding the uh, frequency um, count in uh, count words per line in data for line in data so for line in data i mean by using for loop we can uh, read the number of data in a file so now once check the line once print the line in line having um, single digit i mean a single substring So next i am taking one variable next line dot split so what is the use, use of split method split method is used to split the data uh, based on the space okay next for i am taking again one for that is what 
in S. So next. So I want to uh, add the uh, words in a dictionary. For that, I am taking here dictionary variable name. In the dictionary, I am passing the key. Key as a word here, and s dot count of word. Count of word. So next. Now check the output one. Okay.
now it is okay i think now it is okay so i got only um, substance only repeating i got only substance um, count okay i will check it and uh, i will tell you later so let's go to the today's subject is the first thing in um, groups concept and this we will discuss class the first one is class so what is the class so python is a uh, object oriented programming language okay so in, in python is in every everything in we can create an object and we can call it okay so that's why python is a object oriented programming language so in in this object oriented programming language one class is the one of the important one so class class is a it is a collection of variables and methods so i think all of you know what is variable it is nothing but a storage element okay next what is method so what is method here method method is uh, nothing but a function if function is existed inside the class then we will call it as a method okay function in the uh, method is nothing but a function if the function is existed inside the class then we will call it a, as a method okay so uh, just uh, class is is blueprint blueprint for creating the object creating a object so uh, this class is the blueprint for creating the object uh, blueprint means for example take one uh, exam uh, real time example so i want to construct one home for constructing a home we need to have plan okay by using the plan we can construct number of homes so uh, 
that is the one example and one more example is so vinayaka vigrahalu chestam kada vigraham cheyadaniki achu use chestam okay oka achu tho mana number of objects anna create cheyochu okay that is the another example so next create a class how to create a class create a class by by using class keyword by using class keyword we can create the class okay by using class keyword we can create the class syntax of of class so this is the syntax class class is the keyword of the creating a class 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 underscore name normally uh, so what is the class it is the collection of variables and methods okay so list of in this class contains list of variable and list of methods so list of methods means it is function okay it is a function we can call it mm, function is method is a if function is exists inside the class then we call it as a function i mean method so is it clear so what is the class and how to create the class and what is the syntax of class i think here one clear right next let's go to practical way take new one so what is the by using so this is the keyword for creating a class class and this is the name for class next colon here i am taking the class name is hello 
so normally a class uh, collection of variables and methods so i am taking one variable a equal to 20 and b equal to 30 i am taking next variables are taken i am taking one method that is i colon so this is the function print hello good evening to all so this is the one function Next, I am executing the I am executing the this code. Executed. So I want to call the I want to get the A value. So A is having 20 value and B is having 30 value. I want to get the B value. So how to uh, how to get the B value? By using function name dot a, we get the value. So next, I want to get the b value. Hello dot. Just to enter tab, we get the functions and variables which is existed in inside the hello so next i want to print the b value hello dot b so next i want to print call the function that is hi hello good evening to all is it clear Is response. I got only one replay. Okay. So this is the uh, creating a class and to call the class properties. So next, I am taking one more example. I'm taking one more example a class math so here i'm taking one more example that is one more class that is math diff that in this function i want to pass numbers for adding num1 comma num2 next colon return return num1 plus num2 okay Next, I am taking one more function that is subtraction. Subtraction. This subtraction function also I am passing two values that is num one and num two <coughs> for subtraction. Return num one minus num two. <coughs> So uh, let's check the output one. Run. 
next math dot yeah so yeah run so i got one i got error that is add method add method missing two required position arguments num1 and num2 you need to give values you need to give parameters to add function that is values 25 comma 36 61 next math dot sub of the function also we need to pass two arguments i got minus 31 I think it is clear. So next, object. object so what is object It is a instance of a class. Object name. It is a instance of a class. So next, how to create an object for a class? This is the syntax for creating an object. object underscore name equal to class name so this is the syntax for creating an object for a class so uh, let's take another example but in creating a object and okay wait So let's take another example for creating an object.
class i am taking python name in this class uh, <coughs> In this class, I am passing. I am taking one function that is languages. So next, I am taking some data are equal to Python languages. java so next i want to print the written r next i am taking one more method that is web in this web also i am passing i am taking one list that is r equal to class django bot these are the frameworks in python written r so I am creating one class. In this class, I want to create the an object. For creating an object, what is the syntax for creating object? Object name. Here I am taking object name is obj. Next to class name. What is the is the class name here? What is the class name here? Python. Python. So I am missing, I am creating object obj dot languages. Print uh, it's printed languages next to a widget dot web I got framework in a Python so here I am creating one object for Python class is it possible to create another object for this same class Is it possible to create another object for same class? Here I am already taking obj. Next I am taking obj1 equal to Please respond, I did not get any clip from your side. Is it possible to create uh, multiple objects for same class or not? Yes. So I got only one response. Possible. Yes, we can create multiple objects for same class obj1 dot
mg1 dot well i got the for next one take another uh, class for math so in this i'm taking the variables result x comma y comma z equal to 10 comma 25 comma 30 so is it cut way to creating uh, taking variables for these three values x comma y comma z Okay. Okay, I will give two minutes time to you. Please complete. it completed can i proceed for next Once can I proceed? Please give me replay. Okay. Okay. It is cut way or not? It is the uh, it is the uh, another way for creating a multiple variables. In single line okay so now uh, let's take two methods that is the add and multiplication or uh, let's take by using these three values i want to create two functions those are uh, add and multiplication by using these three uh, three values in previous i am taking dynamic values 25 comma 36 add math dot add of 25 comma 36 61 so math dot sub of 30 30 comma 69 even 39 okay now i want to we add the static value. Okay, now I want to add the static values. Okay, I will give uh, so much time to you. Please complete. So previous game is the same example chase already math math function this math class this one hello two methods this one those are add and subtraction okay so then look at values all pass is one dynamic values this one so if you again that day is static values you can static values this one x comma y comma z equal to x equal to 10 y equal to 25 and z equal to 30 so now i want 
yeah these values only for example i am calling yard function i got the sum of these three values Any anyone completed? Okay, I will tell you. Don't worry. So diff f I want the sum of these two, three values x plus y plus z. So next, I am taking another um, method that is multiplication. return x y so i'm multiplying only x and y values enter Next one, create one object for this math class. I'm taking OB. OB dot math. OB dot add up. So name error. So name X is not defined. So I got name error. So anyone got output? Similar got, okay. So anyone? So just to do it, so just think once. So uh, in this class, I want to x value. What is the method? What is the process? In this class uh, contains x, y, and z variables and add and mul methods. Okay, in this class, I want add. So you get the add function. So next, I want x. You got the x. Next to b dot, I want z value. You get the z value. So in this way. 
So you can return here. math dot dot math dot math dot why why here i am taking math dot because this is the these are the global variables okay these are the global variables that's why i got the name error x is not defined what is the global uh, global variables and local variables global variables means it can define uh, top of the uh, outside of the function okay so local variables means it is registered inside the function or method okay that's the reason i got there that's the reason why got error math dot y so now let's check yeah so i got 65 output next ob dot mul i got multiplication of x and y Is it okay? Is it clear? Is the game play? x y z are not defined so that's why i am taking here math dot x okay math dot y math dot z that's the reason i am taking here math dot math dot math dot because these x y z are global variables so once check this check this then you got clarity So this is the another one process. So by using global keyword, we can set the global variables. Okay. Okay. Take this. X, Y, Z. 
is to global up global up x comma y comma z okay we can take like this also by using global keyword we can assign the global variables now let's check the output one ob dot yeah you got output okay this is the global keyword using this global keyword you can set the global variables so this is another way okay uh -huh. Okay, now uh, let's try this one. Vijay, you got output. No problem. So is it clear? Is it clear for all? Is it clear or anyone having any doubts regarding it? Please let me know. Clear, clear, thank you. So actually, I don't know uh, recorded videos. So I will update in GitHub. By end of this day, I will update the GitHub link. You can access uh, through GitHub link, don't worry. So next thing is constructors. Everyone, some students asking um, regarding recorded videos now sir please respond your voice is not audible in PSC so please give me clarity uh, for recording videos Now also may I add one?
so uh, in new stances we will discuss about uh, inheriting only if encapsulation uh, is not in syllabus if you want i will tell you don't worry about that next step constructive so what is the meaning of constructive here first of all what is the constructor here constructor a python class constructor in python class function begins with double underscore double underscore are called are called first remaining this is function or right? it's not mean function yeah they are have having special meaning construct in python uh, construct is the default mm. python function this starts with underscore and ends with also underscore and it is having some special meaning okay so next what is the main advantage of constructor for creating constructor we have one uh, the main advantage the main advantage of constructor is without using object we can we can call the function that is the main uh, advantage of constructor okay so next step in that index for constructor is diff underscore underscore in it this is the default uh, constructor in python cell so in this construct uh, default constructor we need to pass any we need to pass one parameter that is i am taking here self okay it is one constructor this is one constructor this is the uh, default constructor here 
so in the uh, in constructors we need to pass one parameter here i am taking on uh, that default parameter is self okay uh, in the in this function i want to pass two parameters okay so let's see how it is passed this by using this word we can create the default constructors in it underscore underscore self self is the default um, parameter in constructor so now i want to pass two parameters those are the two values those are a comma b like this way uh can pass parameter okay so now let's see so a comma b comma self so this is the term is this syntax is correct So please give me reply. So this is the uh, syntax is correct or not? So constructors, uh, I will. So constructor, constructor, uh, it is the one of the special uh, function in Python. and it is having you know, some special meaning also the main advantage of constructor is without using object we can call the function okay next this is the creation of function i mean constructor by using if keyword also we can create constructor here init means initialization underscore underscore init underscore underscore self self is the default parameter in constructor so next i want to pass two parameter self comma a comma b so next in third example i am passing a comma b comma self so uh, it is correct or not please give me reply so in this parameters uh, which one is default one in this three parameters i am passing here three parameters those are a b self so in this these parameters which one is default one someone say self someone say first one absolutely the first one first one is the default parameter okay so which parameter i am taking is first it is a consider as a default parameter so b and the self is the variables okay these two are the variables so let's take uh, one an example
let's take an example class of i'm taking student student dip i'm taking constructor default constructor in it underscore underscore self comma i want to pass name student name here name i'm taking name next self dot name equal to name here i am assigning uh, name to self dot name for example i want to call this name uh, by using this name we can call the name okay without uh, self we cannot call the name okay so next i'm creating one more function that is so so i am taking show here in this show and pass the cell next to return hello comma self dot i want to call the name okay so a name is assigned here name dot name equal to name so ikkada vachis name ni vachis mana name self dot name ki assign chestam so ee name ni ekkada call cheskovali nenu self dot name tho maatram call chesko self dot name next run run so next create one object for uh, student class so vj equal to student of so int missing one required position argument okay i got type error uh, that is int init in it missing one required position argument so uh, in this init function we need to pass one uh, parameter that is name for example i am passing srinivas next to obj dot so hello sir is it clear is completed this is fun yes okay 
get only one response. What about remaining? Still doing? Or... Did not understand? Please let me know. Okay. So this is uh, one method. I'll tell you another method also. Master, excuse me, sir. Okay, sir. Hello, sir. Sir, excuse me, sir. Hi, yes, sir. Please continue, sir. Please continue. Oh, okay. Uh, hi, good evening, all. Manke, Manke, Telegram group lo already ne link ko share chesa. Google sheet. That is daily update. Just now, I have checked just for Okay. Remaining. That is daily. Or day question. Day just now. I have checked. No. Iko night. Or that is load outlet. Or some time. Time just come. Then morning. I mean afternoon. Before afternoon. Iko upload just now. Then I have checked just for me. And for present man. Ki feedback from from. Then just now feedback from our field just send. Sir, we have two minutes. Ki time on sir. Also feedback from ki. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So, someone says they did not update it. Link update. How did they check, sir? So, Sarah says it will take some time to update. I have posted the uh, feedback link in chat box. Please, please complete. Then only you got attendance. I hope all of you completed. So this is the this is uh, one way, and I will tell you another way. With same example, student student of div underscore underscore init underscore This I am passing self comma here I am printing one print statement. Oh. Hello. So next I am taking one more example that is show self dot name. So like this also, we can pass the name to uh, show method. Okay. Next to return. Hello. Name. 
this is hello name this is another way directly you can pass uh, parameter in method also okay next i am creating uh, object for student student class run so default is the default output it is first one okay so next i want to um, get the show method object that show not visible for all our faces then you should so now it is okay and then now it is visible so object dot show show missing one required position argument name so in this uh, in this method i am passing name okay in calling the uh, show function i dot mention the name here that's why i got name error name is missing so I'm passing here you know I got output so this is another way we can use both depending upon our requirement and please note down on top so is it clear up to now all of you clear please respond If you get clarity, I will give you one task. Yes, sir, clear. Okay, thank you. So please note it down. First, create one class. create one class that is user info user info user info next uh, set the address that name comma roll number comma email id 
email id set the address uh, these three fields name roll number email id after that call the show function show details function you have to print the name email uh, name roll number email id you have to print the user name and roll number and email id okay so here i am taking just to only uh, one one where uh, one argument i pass only one argument in this uh, in this task you need to pass three arguments those are name roll number email id okay it is clear task is clear i am taking only uh, one example i mean one parameter one parameter to the method in this task you need to take three where uh, three arguments Three parameters. Those are name, roll number, email ID. Whenever you call show show details function, you have to print the user uh, username, user name, roll number, and email ID. No, on those three, we need to take dynamically. Those are not static values, take dynamic value. Ah, yes, yes. Task one. So uh, in this task, take another method that is take not take another task, not down another task. So using constructor, I uh, take the values. Take any three values: value one, value two, value uh, value three as num one, num two, num three. Okay. After that, I uh, create two methods. Those are add and subtract. Okay. This is uh, these are all. String. Okay. Now take integer values for addition subtraction. Okay, that is the task two. So in in task one, we are taking only string values. Okay. So task one lo yeh interest na interest na mande just mano name ho roll number email id and pass cheshe. 
నెక్స్ట్ టాస్క్ టూ లో కూడా సేమ్ విత్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ తో అగైన్ టేక్ త్రీ నంబర్స్ ఇది త్రీ నంబర్స్ నమ్ వన్ నమ్ టూ నమ్ త్రీ అలా తీసుకుని వాటికి వాటిని మెథడ్స్ లో కాల్ చేయండి యాడ్ సబ్ ఓకే సో ఇక్కడ యాడ్ సప్రాక్షన్ అలా ఇంక రెండు ఫంక్షన్స్ క్రియేట్ చేయాలి ఓకే ఫర్ ప్రాక్టీస్ పర్పస్ ఐఎమ్ గివింగ్ దీస్ టు If you done uh, the task, you get more clarity on this particular topic. That's why I am giving task. Without practicing the, uh, this, you cannot. That's why I am giving task. Slash and means uh, next line. I mean new line. I am taking Hello, hi. This is multi-line screen. I'm calling D. So, uh, it displays one to one line. Okay. It means it's a new line. Outside string. Right? Uh, outside string. Okay, that's it for today. Tomorrow, we will discuss the uh, remaining inheritance and factors and modules. Tomorrow, we will discuss. Till now, don't have any doubts and don't have any errors, you may leave. Okay, thank you.